Welcome, welcome to my little um, tutorial on how to get um, Rig Complete Free running on Mac OS High Sierra. Um, I took a little bit of a gamble because everybody says it, it's obsolete now, but you can actually get it working and it works quite well. Um, Native Instruments stopped supporting this a few years ago, which is a shame because there's, um, they're happy enough to sell the plugins and the software, um, but when it comes to creating the hardware, they really need to update it. Um, I've got the, the new, uh, let's have a look, see if I can show you. Ah, no, I can't. Yes, I can. I've got the new, the new Mac 2 keyboard, which I'm really happy with. Um, but I thought I'll just try and see if we can get this working. Um, anyway, so let's get to it. First thing you need to do is go to the Native Instruments homepage and go to support. And you need to download the, the last driver they did for this um, guitar rig hardware, which is right down at the bottom. Um, rig Control 3, Java 2.8.0, install that, um, and then the other thing you need to do to get it fully working is go to Control Editor and you need to download the 1.7.4 and once, you, once you've installed it, once you've downloaded it, sorry, delete the existing Control Editor from your computer and install the new one. The reason being is the 1.7.4 was the last version that supported the um, guitar controller. Um, all your buttons will work, but the the um, expression pedal works, so we need to calibrate that. So what we do is click on that, go to preferences, and go to controller, and just click on recalibrate. Um, and then just do it a couple of times, all the way front and back, top and bottom, whatever you want to call it, and then that's it. So now, when you open uh, Guitar Rig 5 Pro, you'll see down at the bottom, you can hide it, but you can see uh, your, your thing there, and hopefully, the expression pedal works. There you go. Um, and hopefully all your other buttons will work as well. So distortion. Um, and that's pretty much it. If you still have problems, there is another technique which is quite tricky, and that's um, it means it's inst uninstalling or disabling some Apple security. Um, I'll put a link to that below. Um, I'll put uh, some text about how to do that. I did it. Um, and then I re um, once I've done it, it's, it worked, um, and I re-enabled the security afterwards, and it still worked. So I don't know if that actually made it work or not, but either way, um, it's enabled now. So So that's it, that's the controller working on uh, Mac High Sierra. Bye for now.